head on over to fifacoinsonline.com for the best deals on FIFA coins from a place you know that you can trust. What's up guys, Kurtz here and welcome to Overpriced vs Affordable. Today we have Inform Javier Hernandez up against the Ordinary Morales. Just want to quickly apologise for sounding a bit ill, but anyway we're going to get straight stuck in to the video and uh, we're going to look at the cost, my ratings of the players and some gameplay as we always do. So we're going to go into the cost bit now and as you can see, Hernandez at the time of me setting all this up, he cost me 120,000 coins, whereas Morales cost just 800 coins, which is ridiculous. Hernandez's price you can expect to go down as Team of the Year is now out prices are going to be absolutely dropping down like a bomb so expect him to go down massively in terms of my rating to the players i've given hernandez just a quality rating of two stars and a value for money of two stars i'm going to talk about this more throughout the uh, throughout the commentary and some more gameplay whereas morales i've given him a quality rating of four stars and value for money of five stars because i absolutely love him i thought he was a really good player and absolutely brilliant so as we go into the gameplay now i'm going to tell you a bit more about my opinion of hernandez so, the little P, Chicharito, you look at those stats on his card and you think, wow, that pace, that shot, that heading, he's going to be absolutely brilliant. I could not stand him at all. You may have heard me talking about him in my uh, in the squad review. Uh, basically, I am going to try and remember to put the link down below to the squad I used both these players in. I may forget, so just check back a couple videos ago, maybe even yesterday's video, to see that to see that one. But uh, basically, I think I ended up scoring seven goals in 15 games with Hernandez, which is not good enough for in a two-striker form formation with all the support he had whereas Morales I managed to score 17 in those 15 games which is up it's not amazing, but it's good. It's it's not bad at all. It's more than a goal a game, and that's good enough for a striker, especially if it's a two-striker formation. Now, Hernandez just wasn't getting the goals. He wasn't getting in the positions. I'm not sure what his work rates are. Okay, I just quickly checked it, and his work rates are medium and medium. For me, I, maybe that was his weakness. He was never forward or in the positions I needed him to be. He has great heading. I thought, brilliant. I'll be able to whip some balls in. He'll get on the end of them and score some headers. He, ne I don't think he scored a single header. Maybe one or two. You may see in these clips but he was not getting onto the headers like I expected him to he was never making the runs he's got a trait of uh, times the to beat the offside trap Morales was always making the runs he was always there even Santi Cazorla in the centre forward was making far more runs than Hernandez was I just could not get on well with Hernandez he was even on the stronger side I played Hernandez on the left of a two striker whereas Morales was on the right and that obviously meant he had to use his weak foot if he wanted to finesse anything whereas Hernandez was on his stronger foot it should have been completely fine but no I saw really struggled to score goals with him. I struggled for him to be in the right position to get the chances. I struggled for him to score headers. Now, I guess when he finally did get in the positions, he did manage to finish them quite well. But it was such a rare occurrence for him to be in the right position, whereas Morales was always where you wanted him to be. Morales and Santi Cazorla were absolutely perfection. They would have worked better as a two-striking partnership. Now, I do always say I prefer to play a, a smaller, faster, nimble striker with a, a taller or just a stronger striker, as I usually do. But when you're doing overpriced first affordables of course this doesn't work so perhaps if I was to partner someone up with Hernandez maybe I would have used someone taller or stronger to get the ball across to him but obviously I couldn't do it because of this and I still feel he should have worked as well as Morales did in these situations anyway so I cannot sing uh, Morales's praises enough he isn't very good at headers but at everything else in his game he's absolutely brilliant really good skill uh, sadly is not four star skill but really good dribbling good shot good pace very very good passing very even though his stats don't show it he was very very good at it and great at getting in the positions being where you wanted him to be to score the goals needed to uh, to win you games and uh, and win it and there you go that there typifies Hernandez he'll manage to beat the goalie but could not get it into the back of the net so um that is actually it, guys. I've gone into a lot of detail in today's overpriced versus affordable. I would definitely go for Morales if I was to pick one of the two. The very cheap one, and he is far better. So thank you, as always, for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video or found it insightful, please leave a like. If we get to 500 likes, that would be absolutely brilliant. Thank you again for watching, guys. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Bye.